Hey, hey we're and we're back. back. Week 17 and, and we're back in person this time. We're back in person and week 17. Wow. Somebody's phone's being used as the base. Yeah. Okay. So, so week 17. 17. There we go, folks. Only one more week after wow. this week left. I'm bummed. This season went by too fast. <clears throat> And we're having a guest. Oh, no, no, that one won't work. It's plugged in the back. I'm sorry. I guess we're not having oh, a guest. Oh, no, vis- no biggest fans visiting today. Okay, so let's get on with the video. All right. So Tonight we have a ton of games. A ton of games. All the games today and only one on Monday. So let's get started. First game. I think it's... We have the Jacksonville Jaguars, which are 2-13. and 13. Disappointing. Taking on... The New England nine Patriots. And six New England Patriots dropping two in a row. I think the Jaguars are going to keep it close in this game, surprisingly. But I think the Patriots will win this one. 34 to 20. That doesn't sound very close. Yeah, maybe not. I like it. Patriots 35, Jacksonville 21. I hope he didn't want to <laughs> I actually do my But I do, yeah, I think the Pats are going to win this game. No Next on our list, <clears throat> we have the Bucks take on the Jets. In New York. In New York. Jets are 4-11, and 11, and the Bucks are the exact opposite at 11-4. and 4. And I'm taking, this game should be great. I think. Should it be great? It would be. No, it's not. But I think it would be a huge upset. Upset of the year if the Jets beat the Bucks. Yeah, it would. I don't have that, though, because the Mike Bucks, Evans is back. Yeah, the Bucks are going to destroy the Jets 33 13. 33 to 13. Yeah, I like the Bucks here too. I'm going to go Bucks 28, Jets 11. Okay. Yeah. Next, we have my game of the week, personally. We have the Miami Dolphins taking on the Tennessee Titans. This either can be a really great game or a really bad game. This is Tannehill Revenge game. Oh, Dolphins sweat. got the crazy win streak, right? Dolphins seven have games. a seven-game win streak. Tannehill and Brian Tannehill used to be Dolphins quarterback. They gave up mm-hmm. on him. It's time for his revenge. The Titans have been on and off. And I think Dolphins win streak ends here. And I'm taking the Titans. Wow. And I think this is going to be a crazy game. Crazy game. Mm-hmm. game. I think this is going to be the game of the year right here. Wow. As the Titans will beat the Dolphins 48 Whoa. to 45. Even though the Dolphins have a really good defense. I think Tannehill knows their defense. Remember, he's oh, yeah, practiced yeah. against them for years. I think Dolphins' defense. Was Tannehill on the team when, when Florio was? The, not, what's his name? When, uh, what's it, Flores? Brian yeah, Flores he was. Who was okay. Maybe then. <clears throat> I like the Dolphins in this one. I think they're going to keep it going, and I'm going to go Dolphins. 38 to the Titans, 28. <laughs> well, next on our list, we have Waiters, the 8 and 7 Waiters, take on the 9 and 6 Colts. Wentz is now back in. It was my birthday last week. Yay, and happy know- birthday to Benny. He's 15. He's an oldie. So but a wanna, goodie. So you want to know about who factor out Carts and Wentz? We share a birthday. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. His birthday and mine are both December 30th. So That's very cool. I think the person that she has... And he wasn't supposed to play because of COVID, but because they changed the rules, he's back. I'm happy. I think he's going <clears> to, <throat> for his birthday, go out, destroy the Waiters, 44-22. Nice. Uh, I can't root against Wentz now that I know his birthday is the same day as my my boy. So I'm going to go Colts here, 28 to the Raiders, 23. Yeah, I'm going to go Colts. Uh, Jonathan Taylor's ridiculous. Now, probably the easiest game to predict all year. I don't know we, if it is. That we, we have the Bengals taking is. on the Chiefs, and the Bengals have been great. I'm taking, no, no, I'm kidding. I'm not taking the Bengals, but... This Bengals team could be a good team in the playoffs. So you never know. One team, they're g- one week they're great, one week, then they lose to the Jets. So 
yeah, I don't know. When they had the one seed and looked like the best team ever, they lost to the Jets. They're the type of team that could win games but also lose against really bad teams. So, I've got to go for this one, Chiefs. I don't think it'll be close. I think the Bengals will make the play may not make the playoffs. I don't know. We'll see. So, I have the... I think the, the Chargers make it, the Bengals make it. Okay, that's what I think. But I have the Chiefs winning it 41-17. Wow, not even close, huh? Yeah. I'm going to go Bengals here. I think they look great lately, and I'm on the bandwagon. I realize the Chiefs look amazing. I hope you're right. Uh, I, I'm going to go I Bengals. I see a lot of... I see a lot of heart in Joe Burrow. Um, and I'm going to go Bengals 38 to the Chiefs 35. Close one right at the end. Rams, Ravens. Ravens, what a fall from grace. They are not the same team they used to be. They might get Lamar Jackson back. We don't know yet. But um, Tyler Humphrey's been good. <clears throat> they lost the Packers by one. And then they, they lost a few other really close games. And then Tyler Humphrey's also won a few games. I think... This is gonna be another. This is gonna be a huge upset, and the Ravens are gonna pull this wow. win out, thirty-two to thirty. Wow, that would be something. I would love nothing more, but I'm gonna go Rams here, just in a realistic prediction. Rams twenty-seven to the Ravens twenty-one. Uh, I don't know. The Ravens are just too beat up, but you never know. You never know. I'd love it to see the Ravens win. I think if the Ravens lose today, the Bengals are. Now, here's a question. Can the Falcons upset the Bills? <clears throat> Falcons, me. Bills, no. I think the Bills are too good. I think this is going to be the Bills' prove it game. They have to have a great game, and I think they're going to do it. Yeah. I think this is gonna, the Bills are going to show them, everyone but how good their Super Bowl team is, and I think the Bills go and win 42-9. to Well, not even close, huh? Yeah. Um... Yeah, I like the Bills here, too. I'm being realistic, although I'd love to see the Falcons pull out a victory here. I don't think it's realistic. I'm going to go Bills 32 to the Falcons 18. The Not very 10, close, Eddie. either. All right, next we have... Eagles, who you said are dead bound to make the playoffs. Yeah, the Eagles, if with the win, could make a playoff. If they lose, then if the Niners have to lose, they make the playoffs still. Saints win... They make the playoffs. There's a lot of scenarios looking like they're going to make the playoffs, and wow. I think they just get all those scenarios. There's going to be a lot open. of happy Eagle fans. There's going to be a lot of happy Eagles fans as the Eagles make the playoffs as they defeat Washington 24-20. to 20. Close. Yeah. Washington lost uh, Gibson. Dang. He's out. Uh, yeah, I guess I gotta go Eagles here, too. I don't think it'll be pretty, so I'm gonna go Eagles 17 to Washington 14. Alright. Alright. Giants-Bears. Another yucky game. Giants. At the end of the season. Nick Foles last Nick week Foles. leading the Bears to a win, and I think he'll keep showing off. I hope he's in this week. I'm psyched that he is. As of two days ago, he's in today, so... I'm going Bears 20 to 7. Wow, you got the Bears beating the Giants, huh? Otherwise, I'd go Giants. But yeah. Mike Glennon hasn't done anything. And it's I Glennon mean, going, not Flacco? As long as Glennon's in as the Giants quarterback, they, they don't have a chance at me. Yeah, Giants. I don't like picking the Bears, but in this situation, the Giants just look miserable. I'm going to go Bears 17 to the Giants 13. Alright, you don't think that? That's the exact score I did last. Oh. Four o'clock games. We have the Texans, which upset the Big Chargers. Big upset last week. Another huge upset of the year. Taking on the Will Niners. Will they do it again against the Niners? Which just week. lost to the Titans. They looked great, and then they lost to the Titans. Now they're not going to do it again this week. They have one good upset. That's all the Texans are going to get, though. I'm going Niners 27 to the Texans 9. Did the Not Texans either. unlock something? Is their offense going to be better? But they're playing a good D in the Niners. Yeah. I'm going to go Niners here. Uh, 23 one. to the Texans 6. I don't think they're going to do it. No. I think it was a fluke last week. Next, we have... Lions, Lions and Seahawks. Seahawks and the Seahawks. A lot of talk. Russell Wilson's not going back to Seattle. 
Even though he hasn't said anything, everyone just thinks he's not. But they do that every season. He's going back. You just know it. But regardless, I think this is going to be a win for the Lions. I think Jared Goff's going to... Wow. I think they're pulling it together. I think they... That'd be cool. Get a win. Get a few wins with a season left. And I think the Lions are going to win this one. 18-17. Wow. Heartbreaker last second to Seahawks. Wow. That would be something, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm not going to make the same prediction. However, I'd love to see it. Once again, I'm going to go Seahawks here, 18-17. to 17. Next, we have the Panthers. Sam. Panthers. Sam Darnold back. Finally. We've been waiting so long. Taking on Taysom Hill and the Saints. And Saints must win for them, but I see Darnold crawling out there. But I think... Must win for the Saints. I cannot go against my Saints when it's there. They need to get two wins, and the Eagles or Niners have to lose. Or the Niners have to lose both games. That's the only way we make the playoffs. And I think... And the Niners have to lose both games? Or, no, one, or the Niners have to lose one of the two games. So, the Saints have to win both. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going Saints here. I think they'll start off doing that at least. I think the Saints win... 26-13. Yeah, I don't think the Panthers have much of a chance. Um, they're not looking good like they at one point were, like after week three. Uh, the Saints, one week they look awesome. They destroy Brady and the Bucks. The next week they don't look so good. But I see this as a victory for the Saints. Not a pretty one. I'm going to go 13-10. Saints victory. All right, reasonable. Next we have... This could be a goodie. The Broncos apparently are done from the playoffs. Are they eliminated? Yeah, because oh, there's bummer. too many good teams, I know. Bummer for them. But they were close. 7-8, and eight, taking on the 8-7 and seven Chargers. Um, Chargers. Chargers desperately want to get in, I know that. They're a good team. They've been fighting. Broncos destroyed the Chargers in the matchup earlier this year. I think the Chargers will get it this time. This, this, these two teams have always been good matchups matchup and I could go either way on this one but I've got to go Falcons. Wow. No, I'm kidding. i got to go Chargers. It's a must win for them. I'm wearing a Chargers jersey yes, and yes, the new Herbert jersey. I think they pull off XXL. a narrow victory <clears throat> 25 to 22. Wow. I'm going to go Chargers here too. Um, I'm it thinking. not be 26 20. No, I'm thinking a little more than that. I'm going to go 34 to the Broncos 28. All right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Next. Cowboys, Cardinals in Dallas. We have game of the week. Another game Could of the week. Could be the game of the week, yeah. I don't think it'll be that exciting. It's the Cowboys go and beat the Cardinals 38 17. Aren't the team they used to be, that's for sure. I know. Cowboys 38 17, you said? Yeah, I think wow. the Cowboys are on a wall. Not Cardinals even close. are on a losing wall. And Cardinals going to make the playoffs, or they already made it? They already clinched it. They already clinched it, huh? I don't know. Maybe this is the game the cards come back, but I don't see it. I'm going Cowboys, and I'm going to go Cowboys 27 to the Cardinals 21. All right. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Vikings at 7 and 8, taking on the 12 and 3 Packers. Vikings are 2 and 0 against the Packers in the last two matchups. Are they? Oh, what? Are they? Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, they're not going to continue. Not that. this time. You told me before that the Packers are 7 out 0 at home. Yeah, and they're going to be 8 0 this they're year. They're going to be 8 0 at home, it sounds like. Yeah, and 9 yeah. 0. But I'm going Packers. I think the Packers are going to get this one easily. This is going to be the game. I think they'll go off and win this one 45 to 10. Wow. I hope the Vikings have a little more fight in them than that, but uh, I, I think this is a Packers victory no matter what. I'd love to see 45 points because um, I'm leaning on Aaron Rodgers in my, one of my fantasy matchups and also Dalvin Cook, so you know you never know. But I'm going to go Packers 42 to the Vikings 27. All right, I agree. All right. And then to round out week 17, we have the Browns coming in at 7 and 8. Loser. Traveling. In to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers, who are seven, seven and one. Loser, 
clinches the playoffs. I have to steal this. Loser win. clinches the playoffs? No, winner clinches. Winner clinches the playoffs. No, w- loser gets eliminated from the playoffs. And a winner makes it? If. Or well, winner still has no, a chance. Winner still. If the Steelers win this matchup, the Bengals clinch the playoffs. If, no matter what. If. The Browns have Baker back? Yeah. If the Browns win it, then. They could win next week, and the Browns could get into the playoffs. And they're saying that this might be uh, very likely to be Big Ben's last game at Heinz Field. It is, I think. And I think he's going to go off with a bang as the Browns destroy him and the Steelers. Oh, poor Big Ben. 38-3 in an ugly oh, game. Oh, man, I hope not. For Big Ben's sake, I hope not. I'm going to go Browns here, too. But I'm going to go 17 to 14. Um, maybe not as quite as exciting, but you, you never know. You never know. And there you have it. That's week 17, folks. And we're happy to be back live this week. Last week we had to do it virtually because of COVID. Because COVID's running rampant through the world again. So, okay. Friggin' COVID. Let's see. Benny's got some more, some icing on the cake here. Who's your Super Bowl prediction? At right now, the Super Bowl prediction is looking like what? Chiefs, Packers, Packers. And what's the score? I go Packers right now, thirty-three thirty, and hopefully a, a wonderful, wonderful game. But probably Mahomes or. Well, but I'm just, hoping well, it's Patriots not play. somebody like Patriots Bucks. That's what I hope it is. Yeah, I have a bit of a different one. I have Bills, Bills take on the Panthers? <laughs> the Panthers, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Even though they're eliminated from the playoffs. Wow, somehow they snuck in. No, I have the Bills versus the Bucks. No, you have Bill. I have Bill. <laughs> Belichick and the New England Patriots. Well, he wrote down Bills. He didn't write down Bills. Oh, he changed it. Now it's the Bills. Okay. And I have the Bills winning the Super Bowl. Yes, I do. That would be 40 something. It would be their first one. To 40 to 27. Okay. I and like I have it. the Bills winning the Super Bowl. And my MVP is... Who's your MVP? It would have to be Josh Allen. My, I'd have to go with, with uh, this guy right here, number 12. Aaron no, Rogers. for the season. Oh, for the season? Yeah. I'm probably going to go Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Mm. Although it should be someone like Cooper Cup or Jonathan Taylor. It's just not going to happen. Just because Rodgers had a few games doesn't mean he's going to win MVP, but just knowing the votes are going to give it to Rodgers, so i got to go Rodgers. I think Brady deserved it, but they're going to give it to Rodgers. I just know it. No, time will tell. But I think who will win comeback player of the year? Uh, I think you got to give that to Joe Burrow. Would be my my guess, because he went down with a bad injury last season, and now he's been awesome this year. Yeah. That would be my bet. Yeah, that'd be nice. So I guess Burrow. uh, Oh, yeah, no. Not Burrow. I'm going to go Carson Wentz. Okay. It's good. Yeah. Good. Carson I like that. Wentz, he I like that. comes back and he proves himself that he's good. I like that. And I think, or, oh, no. No, no, no. no. Not even close. Not Wentz. There's a guy we're forgetting. Who? Dak. Oh, Prescott. Yeah, Dak's pretty, pretty Dak's awesome, too. Dak's got to win it. Dak. Dak has a good chance. He I'll got go injured Barrow, last year. I'm going yeah. Dak. Right. Offensive player of the year. Don Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, Jonathan Taylor got pretty ridiculous. Defensive player of the year. Ugh, I don't know. That's a toughie. Uh, it's always Aaron Donald. I'm going Aaron Donald. Even though he hasn't really know. done a lot this year, they always give it to him anyway. He's still uh, doing good. Yeah. Uh, Micah Parsons, maybe? But he's the rookie guy. I don't think he'll win rookie. TJ Watt, maybe, if he played enough games. All right, so All offensive. Right. Oh, Wookiee. The, I think the Wookiee of the year is going to go to. Mac Jones. Jamar Jones. No, Mac Jones, baby. Yeah, Mac Jones. Hopefully, they'll give it to Mac Jones. 
Because if they don't and give it to someone else, I'll be mad. But I wouldn't be surprised if they did. No in the NFL. However, I think it's going to be Jamar Chase's offensive player of the year, though. Jalen Waddle will be up there, too. And player of the year, I think it will be a play that hasn't happened yet. I think it'll be in the playoffs. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good. Good. All right. We got one week left. Well, then we'll do the playoffs, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do the playoffs. My Super Bowl predictions of Bills, he has the Packers. As of right now. It's not who I'm rooting for, but, you know, that's yeah, he's what, rooting, realistic. He's rooting for the Packers. I'm not rooting for the Packers. I'm rooting for the Bills. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys see next ya. time. See ya. Later.